Example 3. Which numbers round to 3,100 when rounded to the nearest hundred? Oh my gosh, did I mention that I love rounding? So what I need to do is find, is round these numbers to the nearest hundreds place to see if I get the magical 3,100. This is a multi-select item um, and it says which numbers. So there's probably gonna be more than one answer. So let's go. I'm gonna start with 3,009. It says the nearest hundred. So when you round, find and underline the place, spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. Four or less, you better let it rest. Drop it down and everything else becomes zeros. No, 3,000 is not 3,100. Chuk, chuk. All right, 3,140, rounding to the nearest hundred, which is right here. So when you round, find, and underline the place, spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. Four or less, you better let it rest. Drop it down and everything else becomes zeros. Which is what I needed, 3,100. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do 3,070. Run into the nearest hundred. When you round, find, and underline the place, spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. Five or more, let it soar, and add one to the rounding place. Bring the three down, and the one, and everything else becomes zeros. That's what I needed. B and C right now, but there might be more, so let's check. Let's do 3,179, round into the hundreds place. When you round, find and underline the place, spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. That's enough, five or more, let it soar, add one to the rounding place. Three comes down, one plus one is two, and everything else becomes zeros. It's not what I wanted. I wanted 3,100, not 3,200. Are you kidding me? Last one, 3,089. New round, find it, underline the place. Spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. Five or more, let it soar. Add one to the rounding place. Three comes down, zero plus one is one, and Everything else becomes zeros. It's going to be a new hit song. All right, we're on example four. That's our last problem today. And this one's a little bit tricky, and it takes a little bit of testing it out. Trial and error, trying to figure out what works and what doesn't and moving forward. So let's do it. Original numbers are rounded to, so these original numbers that we're going to plug in, are rounded to the nearest hundred and to the nearest thousand. The original numbers are different from all the rounded numbers in the table, meaning what we, what our, what our input is for these, for our original numbers, cannot be what we currently have. So we need to complete the table with possible original numbers. So let's do this one. So I have I need to find a number that when I round it to the nearest hundred, it's 12,700. And when I round it to the nearest thousand, it's 13,000. So both of these are five digits. So I'm gonna go ahead and put five digits. And I'm gonna focus on rounding to the nearest hundred first, which would be this guy. So if I'm rounding this number to the nearest hundred and I get the seven right there, I know my answer has to start with 12. I need to put up to what it currently is, 12. And now I need to decide what number goes in this box, okay? Well, it's already in the sevens, so I'm just going to make it easy for myself and keep it in the sevens. The next digit that I put right here in the tens place needs to be something that when I round it, it doesn't make it go up to an eight. So what could I put in this space to keep it and let it rest where it is to let the seven rest. I need to put a number that is four or less. You better let it rest. So I'm just gonna pick two, okay? And then, 
here. It doesn't really matter whatever I put here. I'm just going to put nine. Let's see if this works. So if I were to round to the seven, I would look next door and that would let it rest. Four or less, you better let it rest. Everything else becomes zeros. That works. And then if I were to round it to the nearest thousand, right here, spotlight to the right, that would make this go up, adding one, which would get 13,000. So I'm gonna put my original number, could be 729, 12,000, I'm sorry, 729. There are a lot more answers um, that could fall into this category. This is just one of them. So see if you can come up with different answers here. And if you can, put them in the description box below. Let me see what else you can come up with for this one. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the next one. All right, erasing. Okay, round it to the nearest hundred, 3,400. Round it to the nearest thousand is 3,000. So they both have four digits, one, comma, two, three, four. Okay, they both start with three, so I know there's gonna be a three right there. And I know that this as a four. So I'm gonna keep it a four. What could I put right here to make it so the four does not go up to a five? Again, one of my let it resters. So I'm gonna put a three there and then whatever I want here. Okay, let's test it out. So if I round to the nearest hundred, spotlight to the right, decide the digits face, fate, four or less, you better let it rest. Three, fours, Everything else becomes zeros. That works. And then here, running to the nearest thousand, spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate, four or less, let it rest, and everything else becomes zeros. So that works. So I'm going to plug in my original number up here. All right. And the last one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Round it to the nearest hundred, it's 154,900. Round it to the nearest thousand, it's 155,000. They both have six digits, so uno, dos, tres, comma, cuatro, cinco, seis. All right, they both have one five, one five. That's what I'm gonna put to start with. This one is a four, and this guy is a five. I bet, though, Let's see, if I were to put a five here and a nine here, if I were to round that, eventually, say we're to do that. Okay, rounding to the nearest hundreds, spotlight to the right, well first, let's say it was this. Okay, this would make the nine go up to a 10, which make this go up to a six. That's just wrong, wrong, wrong. So you don't want that. We're gonna put 154,000. Let's keep the nine there and just play with it a little bit. And what could I put here to keep it at a nine? I could put a zero. I could, that would make it a nine. And then whatever I want over here. Let's check it out. So I'm rounding to the nearest hundreds. Spotlight to the right. That would make this stay the same and everything else becomes zero, so this one works. And if I were to round to the nearest thousands, spotlight to the right, five or more, let it soar, oh, I messed that up, five or more, let it soar, and this becomes a five, one, five, five, everything else becomes zero, so my answer right here would work. Again, it's not the only answer. If you come up with other answers, share them. All right, motivational message time. Today's message is, you may be smarter than me, but you will never outwork me. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You may be smarter than me, but you will never outwork me. I'm not trying to diss you. I promise I'm not. This is the attitude that I want you guys to have, okay? You need to be the one that's like, all right, all right, all right. 
You may be smarter than me, but you will not work harder than I will, okay? Meaning I might not be the best now, but watch out because I'm going to work super hard, way harder than you, to get where I want to get, to get to the next level. So think about the people that are have A's in your class, okay? Or the ones who are super smart and they have all these intelligent things to say all the time. You know who they are, okay? They may be smarter than you, but don't let them outwork you. This is where it's at. This is how you build your character. You start working hard and you say, you'll never outwork me. Now you're not trying to, to diss your, you know, your competition or everything. This is just the attitude that you need to have inside, that you're not gonna let anybody work harder than you. If you let that happen and you let that sink in and you start, you're, you just start producing all this hard work, Things are going to happen. You're going to get that A on your test. You're going to rock the FSA. You'll get a level four or five, okay? You don't have to be the smartest person in class to be the, to get a four or five. You just gotta work hard. You might be at a level two right now. You gotta work hard. You can get there. It is totally possible. But you need to have the attitude that you're not gonna let anybody, anybody outwork you. That's how you make it happen and that's how you make a difference.